Okay, so so the so so the, there's a good question. Okay, the question is, what's the difference between conquest and diffusion? Okay, the answer is this. If I conquer you, I eradicate your genes. I kill you. Okay, therefore your genes do not come into the present day. Whereas if it's diffusion, your genes are still around. Does that make sense? Okay. So now what I will show you next class is. Sorry, a lot of these genes have been eradicated. Therefore, it must have been a violent conflict. Okay, that, that, does it make sense? Okay. All right. So um, let's now look at Europe before the conquest. And a lot of um, what we know about Europe um, comes from a very famous anthropologist. Her name is Maria Gambatas, okay? And we'll, we'll be spending a lot of time this, today talking about her theories. But what we know is, okay, Remember the ice age ended about 12,000 years ago, okay? Now the planet is warming, which allows for agriculture. We also know that agriculture started in uh, Anatolia, Turkey, and in Egypt, and in uh, Mesopotamia, okay? Basically, this region. And the reason why is this place was the first to warm up, but it also had better soil than other places, okay? So they discovered farming in this region. And in about 6,500 BCE, agriculture starts to spread around the world, okay? To Europe and then over to um, England. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Okay, now the question then is, what propelled this migration from Anatolia to Europe? Can you guys guess? What would, what would propel this migration? Hmm? Okay, a good guess is war, okay? But we don't have any evidence of war around this time. What's another explanation? Why people would move? Exactly, thank you. Climate change, okay? The weather became a lot cooler during this time, making it harder for people to farm, okay? Also, they've been farming for a long time in this area, which meant that the soil, the, 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 the soil is longer as good as before, okay? So you had these massive migrations of families into Europe because Europe at this time, it was becoming, the weather was becoming a lot um, warmer, which allowed people to start to grow agriculture in this area, okay? So in about 6500 BCE, people started from, to move from Anatolia into this area. And because they were moving, they brought with them their religion, okay? Remember, like, like the religion of Goblet Tepe and kind of Hoyak is one of the mother goddess, giving life to everything, okay? And because of that, we know that the people in this area were mainly egalitarian, peaceful, and artistic, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Um, what, we'll, what we'll study next class is that there were two massive migrations into Europe, all caused by climate change. The first migration um, are farmers, okay? The second migration are pastoralists. And uh, what I will show you next class is we will look at the DNA evidence, okay? So if you look at the DNA of people today, what you will see is that um, about 4500 BCE, most people in Europe, their genes were a mix of farmers who came from Anatolia I suppose hunter-gatherers who were there originally, okay? Does that make sense? But then, um, after 3000 BCE, you have this green come in, okay? And the green are the Yanaya, okay? The Proto-Indo-Europeans. And so I will show, show you this next class, okay? But, but I want you guys to understand what happened, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so Again, this is a map of the migration, okay? So agriculture was founded in about 9,000 BCE in uh, the Near East, Turkey, Anatolia, as well as uh, Israel, Syria, Jordan. And then it spread from about, from about 7,000 to Europe, okay? And then the purple is the Yamaya people, okay? Who, who believe were from Ukraine in the steppes. And they spread around the world. Next class, we'll discuss who the Yamaya were and how they conquered the world, okay? But first, I, I, I want to look at the farmers who built Europe before the conquest of the Yamaya. Um, so, again, Maria Gumbutas, 
who is an anthropologist originally from uh, L Lithuania, but who worked at Harvard and UCLA. She's done decades of research into old Europe, okay? And her conclusion is that old Europe um, was conquered by um, the Yanaya people, okay? And this, this is what, what we know as the Kurgan hypothesis. So let me, let me explain what the Kurgan hypothesis is. We know the burials of the farmers is very different from the burials of the Yanaya people. The major difference is this. The people who are farmers are buried together, okay? But the people of the Anaya, they're buried alone. Not only are they buried alone, but they're buried with weapons and with cattle and horses. So what we can guess from this, okay, we don't have evidence, but we can, what we get, can guess from this is that the farmers were people who did not have private property and who were egalitarian, okay, and who were peaceful because they didn't have any weapons. And the Anaya was the complete opposite, okay? These were warriors who um, uh, believed in private property and which was male-dominated, okay? Does that make sense? So this is what, what we refer to as the Kirken hypothesis. And for the longest time, this is something that Maria Dubotas argued, and she was laughed at. Why would, she, why would people laugh at her? She's saying like, okay, before these Yamaha came to Europe, Europe was a place that was basically governed by women. And it was artistic, and it, it was peaceful, and it was egalitarian. Why would people laugh? Yeah, they don't believe in her. Yeah, yeah. first of all, in universities, it's the men who are the professors, right? It's the men who are scholars. So there are many men who are like, there's no way women can be in charge. They're idiots, okay? Why would women be in charge? They're stupid, they're useless. It's men who are always in charge, okay? That's one reason why they laugh at her. What's another reason? Well, why they, okay, there are also a lot of people who believe like people are violent. We've had wars always, okay? The idea like for like thousands of years, Europe was peaceful can't be true. Because people are violent. Humans are meant to go to war again. Okay? And the third reason why people would laugh at her is we think that we are motivated by money. Right? If you don't have money, then why would you do anything? Does that make sense? Maria Gombotas had this radical idea that challenged the way that men saw the world. Okay? For men, Men, has, men have always been in charge, there's always been wars, and there's always been wealth and money to motivate people to work hard, okay? And that's, and that's what men believe. And Marie Gambada said, no, that's not true. For thousands of years, from 6500 uh, BC until about 2500 BCE, 4,000 years before they were conquered, Europe was ruled by women, and because of that, Europe was peaceful, egalitarian, and artistic, okay? So this is a radical idea. And again, what I, what I will show you next class is this idea that was laughed at for decades has, has now been confirmed by DNA evidence, meaning that this has been proven true by science, okay? Does that make sense?